Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I am so happy because like for the first time since I've been doing this, like YouTube, I actually kind of have decent lighting and I put up a big blanket scarf as my background. And let me know in the comments below for what you guys think, um, if it's working and if it's a little bit better. I've been trying... <laughs> I've been trying so hard. But anyway guys, let's get into the video. I go four days, about four days, not washing my hair. And the reason for this is because the ends of my hair are bleached. However, before that, I still don't like to wash my hair that much. Only because it's very damaging, I love to have my hair just natural, and I just don't like to wash it that much. But I do shower regularly after like my workouts and everything, so like I do shower, just to let you know. Anyway. I have tried many, many, many dry shampoos. I've tried some from the lower end of the budget to the higher end of the budget. I paid $43 for a can of dry shampoo and I paid like $3 for a can of dry shampoo. And I have tried like Dove, the fancy ones at Sally's. I don't even know the names of them because they're so fancy. And to me, nothing works. It's like you have to spray so much product into your hair and then you have to make sure all the residue is out and then you have to I don't know to me I just always have that feeling of their stuff in my hair what I find works best is baby powder so what I did one day was I got so tired of spending money on dry shampoo and it feeling like my hair was even greasier and I couldn't even like I had to wash my hair and I followed the steps and I'd follow YouTube videos and it's not because I wouldn't use them right. I'm pretty good with hair stuff. I'm not so good with makeup, but I'm pretty good with hair stuff. So to me it was just I could not find one that would just work. And I tried so many kinds, like I said, and one day I got so tired I went on YouTube and I said, I need to find another hack for this. And I found a few videos that said baby powder. It's like pfft baby powder like what are they talking about I said like baby powder in your hair no way like no that's that's weird like come on and then I was thinking about it and I said but I use dryer sheets for static and I use coconut oil for my hair I said I should give it a try so what I remember doing was this and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did Yeah, it did not work. So after me trying it out again, trying it out again, and trying it out again, I finally mastered how to use it. Well, it wasn't like that rocket science. Like I just literally took the whole day and dumped baby powder over my head and then I did the next day. I noticed that it really worked and I found it did not leave a very heavy feeling in your head. I found it felt like it actually like cleaned it and it smells good, but it, if you want it all out, just blow dry your hair after. And if you don't want a residue, blow dry your hair after. And as you guys can tell, okay, this is day three. No, day two. This is day two, but I have been playing around with coconut oil in my hair. So it needs baby powder. So here's what I do. I like to take a comb and I just like to section my hair. And I'm going to be looking at the viewfinder because I don't have a mirror. And I take some baby powder. just like this and I I don't rub it in right away the only reason why is I'll show you why this works best for me some people have to rub it in but to me this like soaks in everything more I found this out now as you guys can tell I have dark roots and I have like blonde ends so just to kind of give you guys the idea of like the residue now I like to do this before the gym especially because then it soaks up a lot of like that sweat And I just follow through. I don't put too much. I should have used my clip. Flip my head down. Okay. So a lot of people, let me just talk first. A lot of people find that their most oily spots at the back of their head. 
Mine isn't. Mine's right at the roots. And for some reason, I don't know why. I don't even put coconut oil there. I just think it's because I constantly flip my hair. So as you can tell, I'm going gray. <laughs> um, no. But what I like to do now is I like to brush my hair. Either with a brush or a comb, it really doesn't matter to me. So that it gets through the whole head. I do that. Okay. I go down. And I shake it. Now, if you really don't want the residue, like I was saying, whoa, my hair. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a tip if you use baby powder or sometimes with anything. I'm gonna show you. Baby powder does make my hair very staticky. Take your comb, take your dryer sheet. Don't take a no name dryer sheet like these ones because. Mm -mm. And you just brush through your hair. And it's a lot less staticky. My hair don't go there. And I don't have a mirror, so I did the best I could. But there's not a lot of residue. To me, it looks a lot better. Even if I put my hair back, it looks a lot better. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can tell a lot. Even just with the feeling, it doesn't feel like it's as greasy. Basically, this is my hack to like not using dry shampoo and having as many chemicals. Especially if this is for babies, it can't be that bad for you, really, if you're thinking about it. And to me, it just leaves it feeling less greasy. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of product in it. And it looks a lot better to me. And like I said, you could put more or less. I just, I can't without a mirror and especially trying to film, like I'm not used to it. So if it looks still kind of greasy, like I'm sorry, but it feels a lot less greasy. And it's basically just an idea to show you... You know, you have to try it out for yourself as well. What works for me may not work for you, but it's a little tip and really it could save you a lot of money because I've been using this for a long time and it was only like, what? They're not expensive. You could even go to the dollar store. I should go to the dollar store and get a little thing of it. I never thought of that. <gasps> I just had a hiccup out of nowhere. Let me know in the comments below what kind of dry shampoo you guys use. I would love to try them out. Especially if there is something better than baby powder, I would love to know. And I would not want to lug this around to the gym all the time. If you guys have not, please subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up if you think this hack is useful. And yeah, this is how baby powder saved my life. Thank you for watching. Bye.